out on him. Yeah, know. yeah. Uh, I missed a lot of easy ones in the first half. I missed a layup and I had a three that go in and out. Um, but it felt good. Everything felt good. I uh, just continued to stay aggressive. Uh, we can see that they weren't helping a lot off of off of the drives and they weren't switching on any of the the ball screens. So I just went out there and just beat aggressive and um, they really want to get on the run. So I think that's where we thrived and especially when we were able to get stops um, and transition buckets and uh, we were just able to have hands all today. When Jordan, that I know you're only seven games into the season, yeah. but with wins against teams like Villanova and North Carolina and doing it the way you guys are doing it, you couldn't draw up a better start to the season. Mm -hmm. right? um, no, nah, I mean, it's really hard to look at it, um, but at the end of the day, we just try to go day by day. I think coaches and the players really stress the fact that now we had a great win over North Carolina, over a really good team, but tomorrow we got practice. You know what I'm saying? Then the day after that, we got practice. But we never think too far ahead. Like, uh, we don't, we're not worried about playing South Carolina or even Purdue right now. We're just focused on my getting better every day. And, uh, at the end of the day, it really, really pays off. And that last three fell there at the, the final possession. Did it feel like just about anything was going to go in for you guys at that point? Um, I don't know. That that kind of was that kind of was burning me. I looked and I just saw I had two seconds and I just knew I had to shoot it. Um, but uh, I mean, I guess it kind of was a, how the night was going, especially really having a great atmosphere with the uh, with the crowd and, and it being a night game and uh, against a really good team. I mean, I, I guess you wouldn't want it to end the end any other way. I guess. So much made about the offense tonight. Of course, you have five of the 11 threes for this team. Yeah. But man, this was. Damn good defensive performance against yeah. the best offensive team in basketball, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The top, the, the the three guys, me, X, uh, and I, actually the the returners from last year, me, John, X, Charles, and uh, Isaiah. We really, really uh, take pride in playing defense, and uh, when we go and we execute, um, the guys on the scout team that we do every day in practice and looking at our, our matchups, we really take pride in who goes out there and who gets scored on. So we were extremely upset with how they were getting transition buckets early on in the first half. Um, but we started to lock down and catch into the pace of the game. And when we started to really settle down, um, our defense really started, started to set in and, and it uh, provided for our offense. Was this the loudest you've ever heard Chrysler? Uh, this was pretty loud. And I, it was this game or the game last year in Maryland, or when we played Maryland here. That was uh, that was extremely loud. But it definitely was rocking tonight for sure. You guys have had a reputation now for a year or two of playing really solid defense. When you can get the offense going like that, what's the ceiling for this team? Um, it's, it's extremely high, um, especially when you, you can win games because of defense. Um, but we're all we all have extremely uh, high levels of talent for the offense, but. Um, I think we did a really good job of buying the defense first, and we know that the offense is going to be there um, because when we take pride of locking down our defender, it gets them frustrated. So we know that we got them out of the game, and then next thing we got to do is just make buckets and, and score the ball. And I think.